Now, these two falsification tests were falsification tests of the past. Now, you'll ask me, Brother Zakir, today I want to prove the Quran wrong. How can I prove it wrong today? Can I do it today? Yes, everyone has a chance. Allah says in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 82, that for the believers, the closest to the believers are those people who say that we are Christians. And the furthest away, the staunchest enemies are those who say we are Jews and pagans. The Quran says, the staunchest enemies of the believers are the Jews and the pagans. And the closest to the believers are those who say we are Christians. As a whole, the Quran is talking as a whole. There are many Jews who have accepted Islam. There may be few Jews who are better than the Christians, but as a whole, the Quran says the Jews are the enemies of the Muslim as a whole. And the Christians are closer. Only thing to prove the Quran wrong, now all the Jews of the world, they get together and they plan. Okay, let's be good to the Muslim for a few years, or two, three years, better than the Christians. Quran is proved wrong. So easy. All the Jews of the world get together. For three, four years, we'll be good to the Muslims. And then we'll say this verse of the Quran, Surah Maida, chapter number five, verse number 82, is wrong. They will never do it. They will never be able to do it. Easy. There are other falsification tests. You will say, I'm not a Jew, but I want to prove the Quran wrong. How can I prove it? Allah has given everyone a chance. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 88, do they say he forged it? Try and produce a Quran like unto it. I mean, do you say the Quran is forged? Try and produce a Quran like it. The same challenge is repeated in Surah Tur, chapter number 52, verse number 34, Allah challenges, that try and produce a Quran like it, and you'll never be able to do it. Even if all the jinns and the humankind gather together, they will never be able to produce the like of the Quran without the help of Allah. It's a challenge. Now Allah makes the challenge easier. Allah says in Surah Hud, chapter number 11, verse number 13, do they say he forged it? Produce 10 surahs forged like unto it. Not the whole Quran, difficult. Forget it, that challenge is difficult. Produce 10 surahs like the Quran. And call forth for help anyone besides Allah. And you'll never be able to do it. Allah makes the challenge easier, much easier. In Surah Yunus, chapter number 10, verse number 38. Do they say he forged it? Produce one surah like it. One. Not the whole Quran. Not ten surah. One surah like it. And call forth for help anyone who you want besides Allah, and you'll not be able to do it. No response. Now, Allah makes the test much easier. Allah says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 23 and 24, Allah says, Wa in kuntum fi mimma nazzalna al -abdina. And if you are in doubt, as what we have revealed to our servant from time to time, fatu bi surati mimmisli. Produce a surah somewhat similar to it. Mimmisli. It's not misli. Mimmisli means somewhat similar. Not exactly like the Quran. Try and produce one surah somewhat similar to the Quran. Mimmisli. Wad u shuwada akuminunillah in kundum sadikin. Call forth for help and witnesses. Anyone you want besides Allah. If you speak the truth. Fail lam taf alu. But if you cannot. And of a surety cannot. And be prepared for the fire whose fuel is men and stones. You will not be able to do it. And of a surety you cannot do it. And be prepared for the fire whose fuel is men and stones. This is a challenge. Try it and produce a surah somewhat similar to it. Now you'll tell me, but natural, if it is a test, you have to produce the surah in Arabic. So you'll be brother Zakir, I don't know Arabic, so how can I take part in this test? I said, fine. 
If you have produced a surah like the Quran, it has to be in Arabic. It can't be in English, can't be in French, can't be in Hindi, can't be in Urdu. Many people tried, not that they didn't try. Many hundreds of people tried and they failed miserably. They were able to rhyme it, but went away from reality. Many people tried and many are available in the books, but all of them failed miserably. Now you'll ask me, the brother Zakir, I don't know Arabic. I'm not a Jew. How can I try and prove the Quran wrong? There are many falsification tests. I'll give you one more. Where anyone can take part. I started my talk by quoting a verse of the Quran from Surah Nisa, chapter number four, verse number 82, which says, Afala yadatakaroon al Quran, walau kana minindi gerilla, lavajudu fiq tilafan kasiro. Do they not consider the Quran with care? Had it been from anyone besides Allah, anyone besides Almighty God, there have been many contradictions. So if you want to prove the Quran wrong, only thing you have to do is take out a single contradiction in the Quran. If anyone takes out a single contradiction in the Quran, the Quran will be proved wrong. Not that people did not try. Many people tried. You go on the internet, you will find a thousand contradictions. But all of them, either out of context, or mistranslation, or illogical. So this is called as a falsification test. So Quran shows us a way how to prove itself wrong. If you think it's not from God, you want to prove it wrong, try it. Take out a single contradiction, the Quran will be proved wrong. This is called as the falsification test. Anyone who believes in God will immediately agree if he's unbiased with what I've said in the last one hour. He'll have to agree that the Quran is from God. But what about a person who does not believe in God himself? 